Any board member comments? <laughs> member Norton. I'm taking a minute of personal privilege, um, but this is also a board member report. Um, today at my school in St. George, Utah, um, they are having a ribbon, they had a ribbon cutting this morning to open up a, a new playground addition. Um, last year in our opening day meeting as a faculty, our principal um, brought forth a challenge to us to raise two hundred thousand dollars and it wasn't there wasn't a time frame on it and we thought well you know kids can learn that not, not everything comes overnight but somehow miraculously our school raised two hundred thousand dollars this past year for this playground it is a, a playground that actually has a real bridge on it um, to bridge the a general ed student playground to a special needs student playground so that they're all under a great big huge shade protection and these kids will that have we have worked so hard to have everybody included with each other through a m many many different activities for you know the past many years um, but our, our theme this year is stronger together and we just felt like you know, it's, it was just so hard to see these kids come out to recess and sit by the playground and not be able to participate because it wasn't, um, there was not access. And now that has changed and we will be able this upcoming year to have all of our students be able to play together. So Very cool. cool. Thank you. Member Davis, did you have a light or Member Lear? I just wanted to quickly just thank you for your board chair's report. I think it's really helpful to kind of hear kind of what you're working on and, and some thoughts that you have and conversations and things. And then just, just thank you all. I was just up there talking to Molly, but she got one of the, the hardest assignments, I think, in board leadership. And I was just like, look, this is this hard one. I think it's probably the most. So, you know, I know there are going to be ups and downs on our board, but I appreciate you all for really um, – trying to move the work forward thank you thank you Member Earl. Yeah. if you did not hear the Utah Supreme Court ruled in favor of better boundaries um, lawsuit that uh, said that the and it was a unanimous decision by the Utah Supreme Court which rarely happens they ruled that the um, uh, that to remand the case back to the district court judge to figure out how to set the boundaries, all the boundaries that were set um, in, in redistricting consistent with um, the opinion. And it will I, perhaps change some of our boundaries, although that is an uncertainty. There's some technicalities in the opinion. Um, and it probably, uh, best information I've heard is it probably won't change things till 2028. Um, so it's not tomorrow, but a, a, as far as I'm concerned, a great win for the people. So okay, I thank you. Go. Oh. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Carol. A member layer, excuse me. And what's that? Don't go running in big cotton. Because uh, kitty cats, bear bears, bears. bear bit of running. Okay. All right. I'm looking for a adjourn. final motion. Second. <laughs> all in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 We will see you all tomorrow. Thank you, everybody.